London Liverpool Street, Wembley train pass. London today. Right, so this morning, myself and Jimmy are going shooting on the street. Uh, it's not something that I get to do all the time because mostly I'm doing a lot of wildlife photography. But myself and Jimmy met God, a couple of, it was about a year ago. Yep. Um, and we got to go to Rhonda uh, in conjunction with Olympus, that was fantastic. Uh, we were testing out the new Olympus. OMD Mark II yep, and uh, EM1 EM Mark II. Um, fantastic, really great uh, autofocus, stabilization, really nice. Um, but we kind of have a lot in common uh, around some of our big loves in photography. Absolutely. One of them, of course, <laughs> our Leicas, my kind of not go to, but often the one that I have with me wherever I am, and our Billinghams. I think, yeah, these. these Two things actually brought us together. Yeah, <laughs> and we thought this morning we would go and uh, do some shooting. Do some shooting. So yep. Jimmy's on film to start with. He's got his M6 cool. 35mm 1.4 Summilux. Summilux. Yes. Summilux, um, and he's shooting uh, Ilford XP2 actually. Ilford XP2, and I've got my M8 F8 uh, 28mm, so a 35 exactly the same uh, and I'm at ISO uh, 320 and hopefully with the light looking like it is yeah, we're gonna get some good good yeah good definitely. pictures oh, the pigeon <laughs> waiting for the pigeon Jimmy's subject of choice is a cat in a doorway um, I need to pretend to be a wildlife photographer so now I need a longer lens now yeah he's going for the 85 well it's not, it's not an 85, it's a 45 1.2 that, as far as I'm aware, pretty much no one else in the country has right now. So Jimmy's a very, very lucky Olympus photographer. Oh, and your cool. cat's just run away. And the so, cat's just gone. Uh, it's chasing Apparently some. I'm just not a very good wildlife photographer. No. No. Stick to, I'll, stick I'll, to portraits. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll leave that to Tom. Yeah. Yeah, I can't do that, sorry. Let's find some people to photograph. Yeah. See, today my challenge for me is to try and photograph people because um, it's something I'm really terrible at. And I think that as a photographer, you've got to constantly push yourself and try and photograph stuff that you don't usually do. Um, so Jimmy's going to show me how to approach people and ask to do like a street portrait. And then I'm going to have a go and mug myself off. So. Well, one, one of the good thing, well, one of the good way of doing that is, uh, you know, first, first tip, be confident. You know, like, uh, yeah. you don't want to come up to people and look and sound like a creep. <laughs> yeah, don't <laughs> you know, be creepy. Yes, you know, like you, you, if you, you know, the worst you're going to get is a no. You know, they're not going to punch you back, you know, and, and uh, so you're going to ask. I don't know, it depends where we go in London. But <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I, I get uh, some aggressions before, you know, but nowhere, you know, to a point I get stabbed or something. But, you no. know, that, that's the worst you're going to get. But if you don't ask, you won't get, you know, right. that, that's simple, you know, but you, you really have to be confident and go out and, uh, yeah, basically just to uh, try to uh, approach them in a very, very positive way, you know, yeah. and uh, I, I have seen, because I, when I do my workshops, uh, some of my students, they don't have the confidence to, to actually approach people, so when they do, go up to people and they really look kind of creepy in a way, you know, that actually your subject will be quite scared of have someone suddenly come and uh, really kind of whispering in your ear in a way. Yeah. So that like, they, will, they will lose confidence in you, and so that like, whatever you say, they're going to say no straight away. So be firm. Be straight to the point yep. and be nice to people Con and smile, 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 smile. Yes, always yeah. smile, always good. I'm not very good at that. I'm terrible at smiling. The uh, reason is <laughs> I'm always behind a camera and never in front of it. So yeah, I'm very bad at smiling. I'm awful in family pictures. So I'll, so, give, I'll give it a go. Yeah, right. you give it a go. Yes. Yeah. So that that's the main tips. And then secondly, obviously, you know, like you want to be quick because yeah. people are walking past you. 
and you stop them for, for, for a photograph and you don't want to hold them up for longer than five seconds for instance so like you really be knowing what you're doing with your camera settings and everything you don't want to mess about when you ask them to stop yeah you know so you're going to be prepared you know you check your exposure straight away or before you even taking the shot yeah and then uh, don't faff around there. yeah they can basically stop them ask them nicely if they say yes bang that's it two seconds they're yeah gone. And if you get it wrong, just pretend you got it right, carry on to the next one, get another picture. Yep, yeah, correct. Confidence. And lastly, and it's a nice gesture, sometimes I offer my, my subject a card, my business card, so if they want a picture back, I'll give them back a photo. Simple as that. Right. Yes. Which way? Which way? We're going to head over there. That so way. Can... If you want to get a load of more information from Jimmy about, you know, behind the scenes on here, he does like wedding photography, everything like that, go and check his channel. It's Red35. Um, and he's got loads of cool stuff. If you like your Billingham bags, if you like your Olympus stuff, if you like all of that, and you like some great Leica. content, Leica, there's a lot of stuff, um, and it's definitely worth checking out. So go and I'll put it up here, here somewhere. Somewhere, I, I always yeah. punted the wrong corner. Yeah, same. <laughs> I don't have a screen on this camera, so it's very difficult, um, but yeah. Right, let's find some people. Cool. So Jimmy's just given me a masterclass. A uh, really lovely lady was just walking across the road yep. and he just straight up approach, can I take your picture? Uh, you look really good. And she just said yes. Walked around, a couple of pictures, really nice. Yep. Um, I followed the same three rules that I mentioned. Yep, gave a business card. <laughs> she was really interested and she liked to like her. <laughs> yes. what, what more do you need than that? <laughs> so more, now I've got to give it a go. Yes. The, is going to be tough. I feel challenge, that's going to be tough. Challenge. Challenge. Well, since I suck at the cat, so like, you know, now it's Tom's I'm going to opportunity show... to prove himself. Oh, God. <laughs> right. Let's see what we find. Right, I'm doing everything you said. I'm set. Yeah. Much. All perfect. Ready to go. Um, but just need to look for a good background and a good subject. So. That's a subject if you want. Can I have you just stand just on this curve? Perfect. Yeah. Amazing. That's, that's perfect. And then just look at your phone and scroll oh. away. Sweet. That's perfect. Thank you very much. Thank you. That's pretty cool. That okay. is good. All right. Was that okay? Yes. You okay. pass. You pass. Done. Well, okay. you you done better than me now since I stuck with that cat. want somewhere kind of like have that downtown Brooklyn you know uh, industrial very heavily steeled area you can't get better than this. She was taking me on a big tour around Liverpool Street. Obviously now today is occupied by cars and vans and Look uh, at this. Like the film crew actually. The film crew. The film crew. But yeah this is an awesome give me, area. Give me yes. the next Luther. <laughs> That'd be fun wouldn't it? So uh, yeah I mean oh, like, I, love, I love this and like gigantic steel steel bridge here you know this see the frame. This? You know, Very nice. I often place my subject here, right in front of the graffiti wall, with the with the steel at the back. It's yeah. a really awesome place to do it. Really cool. Yeah. Really nice. Very nice indeed. Jimmy's looking for uh, framing options for what we might shoot. Nice, nice bit of background here. Okay, so Jimmy's looking for the right subject because he's found a nice backdrop down this lane where he thinks it's going to be really nice. So now what he's doing is basically milling around looking awkward until someone 
who's right walks by and he's going to ask him to take a picture. Myself and Jimmy have just wandered into this community garden yeah, in the heart of, well, two lane. train lines in yeah. Brick Lane. <laughs> Brick Lane somewhere. It's really nice. Myself and Jimmy are debating the benefits of the Leica M8. Uh, a lot of people don't rate it nope. as much. They think that it's not a very good camera, but I actually love it. The sensor, the Kodak sensor. I is, think it's the Kodak sensor. Yes, yeah, absolutely. I mean the colours it makes. Sometimes it's off, and you get horrible purple blacks, so and yeah. it looks disgusting. But there's other times when it just, you know, you bring, you take it into Lightroom. You just bring your black level up, yep. you, know, you get that really nice flat black look and it just looks stunning. You know what that reminds me? It reminds me of the old uh, Kodachrome. Yes, yeah. yeah. This live film, if you're not familiar with it, you know, and uh, they are very contrasty, very vibrant kind mm. of colours, saturations, you know, it's really nice. And this is what the Kodak sensor can do. Yeah. It's actually quite cool. And it kind of, I do think, if you put the infrared filter on it, it's great. But you kind of ruin it a bit sometimes. I think mm. I kind of prefer yeah. the hit and miss nature of the fact that sometimes it's the perfect. joy of photography. Yeah, exactly. No, sometimes yes. <laughs> it's absolutely exactly what you want, and other times it's it's a bit crap. But <laughs> but I like that. It's it's yes. more like shooting film with a Leica M8 yes. than I think it is with a modern Leica. Absolutely. Yes. And I think yes. that is a big benefit. Right, so it's been a long day, hasn't it? It has. Well, not a long day. It's well, been it's, it's long enough. Look at the, look at the sky. It's yeah. gone dark a little bit now. It's but dark now. What a sky we have now. It's quite gorgeous. It's been good fun. We've walked around Brick Lane, Spitalfield, yep. lots yep. of different places. Uh, taken a few pictures that I like. Probably not loads. We haven't taken loads of pictures. No. We've, we've taken we, a handful. We aim for quality, see? Like yeah. Not quantity. And to be honest, today, <laughs> for me, was more about learning to go up to people and just randomly talk to people and ask them to take their picture. Yep. That was yeah, that was good. Yeah, that was yeah. really good. Yeah. And Jimmy's taught me a load of stuff about you know actually being out. Tom did brilliantly shooting. Good, yeah, yeah that's, that's nice of you to say. That's, I appreciate <laughs> that. I try my best, but um, yeah, I think next time me and Jimmy catch up, yep. and I'll put his details and all his like um, YouTube stuff for Red Thirty Five cool. here yep. or here or there. Yeah, all the handles, Some, all the yeah, handles yeah, gonna yeah, be yeah. 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 Cool. Um, we will go and photograph some wildlife together because I think that's more of a challenge for you. For me, indeed, yes. And less for me. I've never ever shot an animal apart from in a zoo. Right. <laughs> so, wildlife photography yep. for Jimmy will be our next attempt. And I have to get a long lens, apparently. Yeah. But, like, super long. Until then, we are going to whip pan, go and photograph <laughs> the city a bit more, and we'll see you soon. Cheers. Bye.